Okay, I'm back again trying to start this old 1978 Ford F-150 Super Cab. I'm going to use my father's car to try to jump start it. See if this will work. Hopefully it will, should. I mean, well, it may crank the battery but not run. So, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> Jeez. It's ridiculous, you know, it really is. Well, it's not the battery's fault, it's... Well, I don't know. It's probably not the truck's fault either. It's... I don't know what's fault it is. Alright, let's get this machine running. And turn down all the electricity usage in here to try to focus on the power of the battery so that way both vehicles won't die. Alrighty, as you can see, my father has 227,000 miles on this car. This is a 2004 Buick Rainier. Probably seen it in the earlier shows where it had car trouble, right? Yep, 227,064 miles. Alrighty. Well, we... Had, now that's American smart, you know? If somebody doesn't do that to their vehicle, then they must not be too equipped with vehicles. Alright, we prop the hood. We um now let me show the engine in this thing. Oh by the way, I might need to turn all the electricity things off. The lights. The headlights need to be turned off. The interior lights need to be turned down. And focus on the drive force. The power. Now this right here will be a newer engine in this vehicle. As you can see, and it's even the fan. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this hood propped up. Now this hood right here, you have to hold it up and prop it up like that. But other than that, here's the battery. And you can uh, charge it up like that. Let's go back here and uh, try to retrieve our equipment here, right? <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Let me shut the doors here. Now, when you do this, be careful. Get it down like that. I'm afraid I might get shocked if I mess with it too much. Alright, both of them are connected. Ah. Alrighty, good. There you go. Now, let's um, connect this on that. And, gosh, stop it. I hate you acting dumb like this. And this, and ooh, this. Okay. Woo. There you go, you heard the engine kind of... Now, what's going on now? The power is coming from this alternator that is going around. Now, as you can see, the engine is getting a little bit more powerful. It's cranking out the amps right to this, through this wire right here, into the battery of this now, this dead battery right here. Now, I'm about ready to perform some major stuff. Let's see what it does. Okay, hopefully I give it enough charge there. Okay, good. It's jump starting it. Let me be sure now, let me be sure that I've got everything connected up in the right areas. 
Alright, negative is on negative and positive is on positive, positive is on positive and negative is on negative. Alrighty, good. Hope for the best, right? Now hoping nothing goes wrong out here now. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> now what I'm doing, when I started this vehicle, that drained a lot of power for my father's car to get in this truck started here. Okay, hopefully now when this truck starts, hopefully it'll start. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. It's making me nervous. Come on, buddy, start. I'm getting a little bit angered at this junk. It's bound to be leaking gas. I mean, ain't no way it takes that much gas to get this thing started. I don't see any gas in there leaking. It's bound, I think it may be leaking from the gas tank to the engine, anywhere between that area. But I don't see anything. And it was pumping gas through there because I saw brown gas. And I could be flooding it right now too, I don't know. <laughs> Come on now. Ooh. Come on truck, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There's no need for this now. No need whatsoever. You get me a little bit mad now. You better get on with it. I'm gonna have to handle you real good. Ain't no use in this, man. You should be a tough machine, but you know what? You're not proving anything. Just proving that you're weak. You are weak. Yeah. I'm gonna put some gas in this jug right here and hopefully it'll try to. Ew. Well, that's brown. Well, this is what I got out of there before. It's that dirty, rusted... Looks like rust to me, yeah. I bet you anything, that gas tank is rusted all the way through. Try to find a better bottle. <laughs> As you can see, we shouldn't be doing that. I have to clean all this mess up. Look at this. This is environmentally unfriendly. Come on now, get charged up, let's go. It's getting me mad here. All right, what I'm gonna try to do is get some gas in here. Right. Come on. Ain't none. There is none. Well, just a few drips, right? Hmm. That'll do. Nope, won't do this thing. Well. Use it all, I guess, right? Don't see any gas squirting out. Must be all right. I put gas in there. Just don't want to do anything. <laughs> Boy, I declare. Come on. Ooh. I know what that was that tore up. I heard something knock. Come on now. I'm pumping it. Woo! <laughs> oh man, it's making me angered. <laughs>